Surfshark is a really fantastic VPN, and one of the most fantastic things about it is how generous it is when it comes to letting you use it for free. There's a seven day free trial on iOS and Android. I'm gonna show you how you can take full advantage of that in this video, as well as how you can cancel that free trial before any money comes out of your account, so it's absolutely no risk. Then, what I'm also gonna show you is how on desktop, you can use the 30 day money back guarantee to get Surfshark for an entire month and then get a refund with no questions asked, no hassle, and we'll do it ourselves. I'm gonna use my own bank account, my own money. I'm gonna to prove to you just how low that risk really is so you can do it with confidence. I'm gonna show you all the steps, all of that. So let's get into it. So first up, we have iOS. And as we get into the app, the first thing it's gonna ask you to do is to create an account. And you've gotta do that before you spend any money, before you take out any plans. So we do that. iOS obviously makes that nice and easy. And then on the next screen, what we're shown is the list of plans. And you've gotta pay very close attention here. First of all, you've got Surfshark Starter and Surfshark One. Surfshark Starter is what I'm choosing for the purpose of this uh, little demonstration. Surfshark One gets you the full security package up to you whether you want that or not, but we're just gonna go for the, the, the straightforward VPN. But what's really important that you pay attention to here is along the top there where it says 12 months, six months, one month. And if we tap through them, you'll notice that Surfshark Starter loses that include seven day free trial option on the six month and one month option. So you have to choose the 12 month plan Yes, it's the most expensive, but once again, once this is all done, I'm going to show you how to cancel it so no money's ever going to come out, so it doesn't really matter. So just go ahead and choose the 12-month option there and complete your payment. With the purchase complete, all you have to do is set the VPN up and you can begin using it. I've done a quick example here just to prove to you that it's all working. We can connect to a server. The VPN runs smooth as anything, exactly as you'd expect. But now for the really interesting bit, which is how we get our money back with just a few taps. What you first want to do is open up settings on iOS and then the top there you'll see your profile obviously in this recording it's my name but that should be the, yours there as well with all of your iCloud settings and your subscriptions and all that kind of stuff so tap on through to it uh, at this point uh, the recording for some reason gets a little bit buggy from the iPhone but what's going to happen is there'll be an option that says subscriptions and payments there so you tap through to subscriptions and now you can see ours you can see the ones that I've had in the past this is my personal device but then also what we have at the top is one that's actually running on Surfshark once we tap through to Surfshark, all you have to do is cancel subscription, tap the confirmation dialogue once again, and there you are. It's cancelled for good. You don't have to worry about any money coming out of your account. Again, very sorry. I'm not sure what's happened with the recording there, but so it seems to have been a little bit bugged out. And unfortunately, we only got one shot of this because like I said, I really did it myself. But I'll put in some images instead so you can see what it's supposed to look like. And hopefully that clarifies everything up for you. Now, what's especially interesting about this with this seven day free trial with Surfshark and with any app that you take a free trial out for on the App Store, as far as I know, is that that seven day free trial, whilst you've cancelled it, you're just saying that you don't want it to continue with a full payment at the end of the seven day free trial. That means that you can still use it for the remaining duration of the full seven days, which is great because one, there's no reason not to cancel it straight away like we've just done. So if you're going to do this yourself, don't worry about trying to leave it to the very last minute and playing fast and loose with that because you might get caught out. You can cancel it straight away. And two, it means that you get to use it for the entirety of that seven day duration. So you can make your mind up if you really want to use it. And then should you actually decide to settle on Surfshark at the end of it, you can choose the plan that's right for you. You don't have to go with the one that we did there. You can pick any plan that you want and the freedom of choice is yours. So enjoy Surfshark for the remaining seven days on your iPhone. And now next, let's take a look at doing that on Android. On Android, it works almost identical to how it does on iOS. You download Surfshark from the Google Play Store, you create an account first, and then you'll take it through to the plan and payment selection screen where, once again, you have to pick the 12 month plan if you want that one week free trial. Don't make a mistake and go for the six month or one month one. You can go for Surfshark Starter or Surfshark One plans. Either one of those is fine so long as it's 12 months. When you do that, you get another reassuring dialogue box there, just like on iOS, where it says that, first of all, you will have the seven day free trial and then payment will be taken from your account. So go ahead and proceed with that. With the trial all set up, you're taken straight into the app just like on iOS and you can go ahead and connect to a server, make sure that's all working. Should be no problems at all. Love how easy to use Surfshark is. But now let's see how we get a refund. And once again, it's just gonna be a few taps. So follow me into the Google Play Store app is where you wanna go. Then you wanna tap on your profile icon in the top right hand corner. Then you tap on payment and subscriptions, then subscriptions, and you're taken through to a screen where you see all of your active and past subscriptions. For example, one for NordVPN, which I have still from when I filmed this exact same video that I had to do it with NordVPN. So with Surfshark at the top there, it's not actually entirely obvious, but that's tappable. So just tap on the Surfshark sort of card there, and you're taken through to the next section. All you have to do there is tap cancel subscription now. A little pop-up will come up asking you why you're doing it. Not to tell them anything if you don't want to. I'm going to decline to answer because the reason is that I'm filming an instructional video. So we do that, then we click continue, and just like that, 
the payment is now cancelled and no money's going to come out of your bank account. And just like on iOS, you can continue using this for the full remainder of the seven day free trial, not just on mobile, I might add, not just on iOS, not just on Android, depending on the phone platform you've used. You can use it on all of your devices. That account that you created works on everything. So that seven day free trial that you set up on iOS, or you set up on Android, it actually will work on your computer, on your laptop, or whatever it is that you want to use it on streaming device, maybe. That's really, really cool. I don't think a lot of people realize that. I don't think we realized that when we first started testing this, but we suddenly had a thought one day, should we just try and log into one of our accounts on a different platform and see if it works? And it's really cool. It does. So you can kind of get around the fact there's not a seven day free trial available on desktop by just doing it on your phone and then logging in on desktop. That's really, really useful. But if you want even longer than that, let's jump over to our Mac and see how we can take advantage of the 30 day money back guarantee. Now that we're sat at our desktop computer, uh, I'm using a Mac, of course, you can do this with Windows as well. It's just via the Surfshark website. We're presented with the payment plans. And whilst I made a very big important point on mobile about how you have to choose the longest term plan to get the seven day free trial, What's really, really strange, in my opinion, about Surfshark is this 30-day money-back guarantee is applicable to the 30-day plan. The, the one-month plan has the full 30-day money-back guarantee window. You can use it for the entire duration of that one month and then get your money back, basically using it for free for the entire month. There, there's, there's no cutoff. It doesn't make you pay all that money up front just to get a refund. So super minimal risk. You're paying less than $20. I'm, I'm doing it in GBP here just because I'm in the UK, but... I think it should average out at considerably under $20. So we're going to choose that one and we're going to go through to the payment page. Now that we're here on the payment page, there is one last extra little hack that I don't want you guys to miss out on. I think it's extremely cool and it's very easy to miss. And that is if you live in a country like the United Kingdom that has a transactional sales tax, there's a way you can get around that. But you just click on your, uh, your region there that you're in there. Mine says United Kingdom. We have VAT. It's 20% of the total value of the purchase. If you pick a region which does not have sales tax, for example, I'm just going for the next closest one that I know works, which is the Turks and Caicos Islands, uh, it will then subtract that from your total cost. So I'm now paying only £12.29, getting 20% off of the final price there, which is really funny that it works that way. Um, as far as I know, no ramifications for doing that, and it absolutely works as you're about to see. So something not to miss if you're planning on paying for the VPN especially, like obviously we're doing how to get your money back here, but if you decide that you do love Surfshark and you want to go ahead and buy it, don't miss out on that little hack. Very useful way to save money, particularly on those more expensive longer plans. Once we've done the VAT trick, there is also another little hack that you can watch out for, which is that Surfshark has a student discount code. Now, interestingly, I've tried using it here on this payment. It's accepted it. It's accepted the code and acknowledged it. However, it hasn't actually given me any benefits, I think, because I'm only choosing the one month plan. But I reckon if you do that on the one year plan, you should get exactly what is promised, which is extra months for free, plus a flat discount on top of that. So make sure you do that. Even if you're not a student, there's no verification. There's no checking. You don't need a student ID. It just kind of lets you have it, which is very nice. With that payment processed, we're taken straight into the My Account page, where ordinarily you'd be seeing all of your details and you'd probably look for the software to download so you can start using Surfshark. Of course, you're welcome to do that, but for the sake of this example, I'm not downloading it, I'm not using it. We're just going straight into getting our money back to prove to you how simple it is and the fact they're not going to put up a fuss, even though we've only just bought the thing. So we're going to look for Visit the Help Center, which is the link there. Then at the top right, it says Billing, and we click on Refund and Cancellation. It then gets maybe a little bit obfuscated. It's not entirely obvious what to do. There might be another way to go about it, but I clicked on what is your refund policy and I then click live chat. And at this point, my heart kind of sunk because I was thinking, oh no, I really don't have to deal with the live chat. Other VPN providers I've used have been really, really helpful where they've just put me straight through to like a sort of a checkbox system where you just click a few icons and there's no interacting with a human or a robot and you just get to cancel straight away. But imagine my surprise when that is exactly what followed with Surfshark. All I had to do was follow the prompts, entering my name and then telling the chatbot what I wanted and it immediately gave me a link to getting a refund. There's two there, which is very nice. I guess maybe if one goes down, they want you to still be able to get your money back, which is a really nice pro-consumer move. I clicked refund main link. It then asks for a reason. I simply select that I don't need a VPN. Technically true, not telling any lies there. I tell it that I'm a VPN journalist doing a test. You can probably put in anything you want there, complete gibberish. There's no reason. Like I said, it's truly a, a no questions asked money back guarantee. They're asking a question there, but... You can answer whatever you like. I don't think it's going to matter at all. We proceed to our next screen, choose the product that we're getting the refund for, send out the request, and just like that, it's confirmed. We're going to get an email super shortly confirming that refund and telling us that everything's going to be okay. The money's going to be heading back to our account. And 
filming this after the fact, I can tell you that it took less than 24 hours for that refund to be confirmed by my bank account. So that's really, really good. Works super swiftly. But the email comes through almost straight away. So you might have to wait a little bit longer for your bank to reply. I don't know how it works where you are. But really, really simple. Hopefully that's a bit of a confidence builder for you there seeing me do it myself. There is one important caveat that I wanted to rattle off here before you go ahead and start doing this, which is that the 30 day money back guarantee is only applicable if you sign up via certain means, meaning there are some ways which will not entitle you to it. And I'm going to roll through those right now. You cannot get the 30 day money back guarantee if you sign up via the Apple App Store or via iTunes. You can't get it via Amazon, via gift card, via a reseller, which is to say like a third party website that happens to sell VPN subscriptions. And you also can't get it if you bought a dedicated IP or you paid for alternative ID. And all of those are all laid out very clearly in the Surfshark Terms of Service, which I can link to in the description below this video. But watch out for that. However, there's nothing to worry about if you signed up via the official website like you've just seen me do here. So that's the most straightforward way to do it. That's how I recommend you go about doing it. Now, one last interesting point to make is that everything we've shown you here today, you can kind of do it in conjunction with one another or in sequence. You can take out the 30 day money back guarantee, use it for 30 days, get your money back. Then you can do the seven day free trial on mobile. And then if you wait six months, you can then do the 30 day money back guarantee again, meaning you get a total of 67 days free usage of Surfshark in a six month period. And you can repeat that 30 day money back guarantee trick every six months, as far as I'm aware. They, they might cut you off after a while, I don't know. But hopefully by that point, you've made your mind up and you know whether or not you want to spend your own real money on Surfshark. But very generous, very cool. That's all there is to it. You know how you can take advantage of the 30 day money back guarantee. You know how you can use the seven day free trial. And you've seen the proof that it all works exactly as said, no hooks, no catches. So let me know how you get on in the comments. Let me uh, know which plan you go for. Let me know if you use the trial. Let me know that it worked for you. And if it didn't, definitely let me know because then we've got serious problems. Hopefully though, there won't be any of that. Now, have a great day, be safe, and I'll see you in the next video.